One of my most requested videos is a full face of e.l.f. makeup. Let's do it. So if you're not familiar with the brand e.l.f. or eyes, lips, face is technically what it stands for. This is a really, really affordable drugstore makeup brand. They do a lot of dupes of other brands. Um, they've got a lot of really amazing products as well. And one of the most requested videos that I actually get from you guys, not only one brand makeup tutorials, but also one brand tutorials using this particular brand. I guess it's sometimes maybe controversial. I know that it's very popular. They've had lots of very viral products. And here in front of me, I have a full box of e.l.f. And we're going to create a full look using them. Okay, so first up, let's prep the skin. And I do actually have a couple of primers in here. We do have the Power Grip Primer. I don't, I don't believe I've ever actually tested this, but I also have the Cookies and Dreams version of their Poreless Putty Primer. This, in actual fact, is one of my OG favorite drugstore primers. It's very, very nice. It's essentially a dupe of the Tatcha one. Smoothing, pore blurring, amazing. And I mean, I think this one's scented like cookies, so we have to try it. Oh, literally, you guys, that smells like straight up cookies. Oh, oh, now I'm hungry. <laughs> and I didn't actually know that they did this, but this is an application brush for the putty primer. So let's give this a whirl. So scraping the product out, it's got like a little spatula. It seriously smells so good. And then I'm gonna use the bristle side to apply it. That feels beautiful and smooth on the skin. I feel like it's definitely minimized the pores. Like I feel like it actually works exactly the same as the original formula. It's just cookies and cream scented and the packaging is slightly different, but yeah. This I love, I already knew I loved this. Um, it's, it, it, it's a yes from me. Next up for foundation, we have the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This again is a product that I have already used before and I really, really do love it. I'll link it on the screen. I'm not actually sure where the links go these days, but I'll link it on the screen. I do have like a full review in-depth wear test uh, on this particular foundation. It's a really, really full coverage, but really perfecting on the skin. It's it's honestly so nice. Okay, blending that one in over the skin. Like, look at the coverage. It's, mm, it, it's almost, it's unreasonable. I feel like it's totally unreasonable. It gives this amazing perfected finish. It still manages to look glowy, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like your face is gonna melt off. Amazing coverage, amazing texture. It blurs, it perfects. It's just, it's, it's perfect. Just as a quick comparison, guys, here is my skin with the foundation. Perfected, great coverage, and still like enough glowiness that it looks like real skin. And then here's my skin without it. It just, it color corrects, it cancels out everything. It is just a really, really, really nice foundation. Um, this is in fact also a dupe for the It Cosmetics CC Cream, which is an amazing, beautiful product as well. It's also full of like heaps of skincare ingredients as well. So awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, let's quickly move on to the eyes before we finish the skin. I have these glitter eyeshadows. These look unreal. So they're the liquid glitter eyeshadows. I've got copper pop and then I've also got 24 karat gold. I actually am feeling the copper one today. Maybe we can build up like a bit of a smoky base and then pop this like right in the center. <sighs> Yay. I don't actually have any like powder eyeshadows. I do have a cream bronzer, which could work, but I'm also kind of worried that that might crease like on my lids. So I'm gonna build up a little base with some eyeshadow and then we'll test this. All right, I've got myself a bit of a warm smoky base that I feel like is gonna tie in really well with this liquid shadow. Let's go in with this one. <laughs> Glitter makes me so happy. <laughs> you guys, that is so beautiful. Can you, hopefully the camera is actually picking that up. Can you see all the pretty shimmery glitter reflex in that? It actually feels like a really nice lightweight formula too. Oh my God, that is beautiful. I didn't expect that to be like that pretty. I'll be honest. I was expecting it to be like really patchy and really sort of all over the place. And it's just, it's really, really nice. So I'm sort of like patting that down, which is kind of helping it to dry. I sort of put it like on the center of the lid, but then also blended it a tiny little bit into the crease because I have hooded eyes and when I blink and go about my day, um, you know, it's going to end up there anyway. So it's sort of better to just help it out in the first place. Wow. That is really pretty. First impression, love. I am actually wearing this makeup all day. I've got an event in the city tonight, so I'm going to be wearing my makeup for a really, really long time. I will update you guys on whether it, you know, splits, separates, creases, smudges, 
Uh, I'll give you the lowdown on like how the experience actually goes. But yeah, first impressions, that is gorgeous. I mean, hopefully it is doing it justice in person. It's this beautiful bronze color with these gorgeous like gold shimmer reflex. It's honestly the prettiest. Now I've just been going through this box of goodies and I've realized I don't actually own or have anywhere in this room any e.l.f. eyeliner or mascara. I started this video off saying that I had like a full, like a full face of products to do everything and I actually don't. We've lied. You've caught me, you've caught me in a lie. So what I think I'll quickly do, I'll jump off camera to do that and then um, I'll come back and then we can start working on the skin. All right, lashes are all done. Honestly, that glitter, I just, I can't stop staring at it. It's so pretty. Let's quickly move on to brows. This is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I'm not sure what shade. Oh, deep brown. The shade is deep brown. Oh, it's got a nice fine little point. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that's actually really nice. It's like quite a creamy sort of, a, like it's a different formula than what I expected. I'm just drawing in like some little tiny individual brow strokes so that they look like little hairs. It's not like my favorite product that we've tested today, but certainly not terrible. Next up, we're going to try the Camo Color Corrector. This is in the shade Orange. Uh, this is a color corrector that's meant to help brighten the under eye area and help you look less tired. Okay, this is actually very orange, you guys. Gonna be interesting. I do feel like I have like a fair bit of darkness on the inner corners of my eyes. I'm actually sick at the minute. I don't know if I said that at the start of this video. You can probably hear it in my voice. Um, she's a little bit sick. So brightening for the eyes is gonna help. Let's gently tap that into the skin. So obviously when you use an orange or a peach color corrector, it's gonna really help brighten. It's basically gonna cancel out blues, greens, purples, basically. Which is fantastic for underneath the eye area because we definitely wanna look more bright, more wide-eyed, more awake, less dark circles. Okay, now that that is all blended out, what you then do, it actually, like, I feel like it's the same formula as the e.l.f. camo, like the CC Camo Cream Concealer, and it's like really, really smooth on the skin. A lot of the time when you use color correctors like this, they just feel really heavy, really sticky, really waxy. And then it's, you know, like it's kind of difficult to get your concealer to stay in place on top because obviously, you know, they're waxy and greasy. All right, moving on to concealer, we're gonna be using the Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is another product that I have tried in the past and oh my goodness, it is glorious. I would say pretty confidently that this is a really good dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I feel like every single affordable brand and even like high-end brands have come out with a dupe for Shape Tape because it was just it, like iconic. It took over the entire internet. Um, everybody loved it. So everyone's sort of doing their own version. This is the hydrating version for e.l.f. I do have the original like non-hydrating version. Have tried both. Um, this one's just like a little bit more forgiving in terms of creasing and budging like it just looks a little bit more wearable and more natural see how when you apply it like you just have to only barely touch the skin and it's just like a really beautiful smooth creamy formula it's it's really pretty on the skin like honestly very very high coverage but still hydrating which we love okay you guys that is blending out like an actual dream and look how bright that under eye looks now like it's completely covered not only the orange but it's also completely covered that dark circle that I had in there. Whoa, that's amazing. That That is a really, really good result there. Very, very nice elf. Very smooth, very creamy, blended out like a dream. Everything looks really good. And I'm just applying it down the center, like forehead, T-zone and chin now. Just through the center, just to add like a little bit of brightness to those areas and also like a little bit of coverage. Like I said, I've got to wear this makeup all day. We don't want the sick red nose peeking through because it's under there, let me tell you. Isn't it great like when you feel sick and then you put on makeup and you're just like, oh, damn, <laughs> I look so much better. I feel awake, I feel alive, I feel healthy. Okay, moving on to the cheeks now because we'll obviously set everything down. I'm using cream cheek products. We have the Putty Bronzer. In the shade Sunkiss, which is quite a deep shade, I do actually have this in another shade, which I might grab as well. Um, and then I've got the Putty Blush in the shade Bora Bora, which is this gorgeous pink color, how pretty. Yeah, you guys, this isn't uh, quite the right shade. I did have a quick look in my drawer 
I can't actually find the other shade that I was looking for. I've got like a really beautiful sort of warm bronze. This is going to be, if I only use a tiny amount, this is going to be more of like a true contour on me. So starting to blend that out and surprisingly, even though it is such a deep shade, it is blending out really, really nicely on my skin. I'm sort of like using tapping motions to kind of like distribute the product and not have it build up too thick. I do love like a really nice buildable formula in a cream bronzer. I just think it's a lot easier to work with. Um, I have used these before. I absolutely love them. They're very blendable. They're very long lasting on the skin. Just like a really pretty easy to use product. And for something that's so cheap, like I mean, come on. I have no idea where my correct shade match is though. It's gotta be, it's gotta be here somewhere. And moving over to this side now as well. It's kind of like mixing in with the foundation and sort of it's changing color. And then I like to come back in with my blending sponge and just sort of soften it out on top. Yeah, that's a really nice cool tone, like true contour. I like that. And moving on to blush now, I know I'm gonna absolutely love this and I'm just so into like bright pink blushes at the minute. Really having a moment. Let's build it up on this little kabuki brush here. Oh, I love that color. And then pat it onto the skin. Oh my God, you guys, that is beautiful. It looks very natural and glowy. And it's not emphasizing any of my texture or anything. And then putting it on this side too. They're just so easy to apply, like honestly. It's like a two second thing, crazy. That blush in that shade, 10 out of 10. Now to set down all of this cream makeup, and obviously you guys know I'm an oily skin type, I have the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. Now, I'm not sure about the shade match of this one. I might actually use my normal setting powder just sort of under my eyes and then we can use this to powder the rest of the face. And I feel like this base looks too pretty to ruin too. That's actually not too bad as far as shade matches go. All right, so I'm just using a tiny little bit of this on a brush. And I'm sort of just patting it over the skin where I don't have that cream bronzer and that cream um, blush. Oh, look, I'm such an oily girl and I've got to keep this on for so long. I don't have another e.l.f. setting powder. I'm just going to quickly powder. I'm sorry. So just quickly taking our velvet finishing powder. I'm just going to quickly powder down my skin. I just, I need this to last. We're not going to take any chances today, guys. We can't. Okay, skin is all powdered down now. Look how smooth that foundation looks. Like it's actually kind of freaky. I, I honestly love it. If you haven't, like I said earlier, Go and watch the full review on it. It's it's a good one. Now, moving on to lips. I've got this little one here. This is the Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Cherry. And it looks like a lip color. Oh, it's a little love heart. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see that. That is so cute. So this is a lip color that's also got like a hydrating core. How adorable. Oh, you guys. That tastes delicious. That's like watermelon flavored. It is insanely insanely hydrating and it's actually like quite pigmented i guess i sort of expected it to be more like a lip tint but that's like straight up oh that is beautiful goes really well with the eyeshadow too two seconds to apply and it's got such a pretty glossy shine kind of reminds me of the revlon super lustrous lipsticks like those crazy crazy viral ones and then lastly to finish the stay all night micro fine setting mist oh it's infused with green tea cucumber and aloe nourish the skin and keep makeup looking fresh what's the spritz like oh okay that is really really fine let me tuck my hair back and we are setting oh that is nice so freakishly now that that setting spray has dried down my skin looks even smoother than it did before. Like I was sort of expecting because it was quite wet. I mean, I put a lot on um, and because it's got all those hydrating ingredients in it, I didn't expect it to look so like perfectly smooth and matte. That's really, really nice. Now, obviously the biggest test with today's makeup is actually going to be wearing it. So I will be wearing this all day. Today is only Wednesday. This video will be going live on either Friday or Saturday. So I do have time to, you know, wear it. And so uh, all of my updates on the wear test will be in the description bar or in a pinned comment right at the top of the video. But I gotta say guys, I'm really, really, really quite impressed with all of the products that I used here today. My least favorites were probably the brow pencil and probably the powder foundation. Uh, but a powder foundation isn't meant to be used to set down makeup. So it's not really like a fair trial. I think what I'll actually do with this one is I'll do like a full separate video where I actually do a proper review and wear test. Weirdly shook by that lip product. I expected it to be a tint, 
um, there's a lot more color to it and the eyeshadow like straight up obsessed. But I would love to know all of your thoughts. How did you think the final look came out? Did you enjoy seeing me do a full face using e.l.f. Cosmetics? I could probably do like a whole nother one. Like I honestly have so much of their stuff. So let me know if you did enjoy this video and you want to see another one. Or if you want to see another, like a different brand, like a full face of Maybelline, a full face of Revlon, L'Oreal, like whatever it is, uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you heaps and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye.